from Democracy. to and the budget impacts. Students from many different groups with many different demands came to SIU's campus this May 2nd to show their discouragement. Michaela Barrett, one of the people in charge of today's protest, believes that after a recent racist video went viral, things moved to a much bigger level. Weeks ago, October, there was a threat made to young African Americans' lives. And so we kind of all came together because it's not only our fight, it's everybody's fight, regardless of race, ethnicity, the living, so, uh, belief, sexual orientation, regardless of everything. We need to support one another if we want to see change throughout the community. And the fact the administration and faculty aren't willing to fight with us, so what we got to do is got to bring the students all together and fight until we see a change throughout SIUC. And it's not only going to end because school is almost over. We're going to fight next semester. We're going to fight over the summer. We're going to fight the following next semester. It's not over. Strike! 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 After multiple visits to different buildings on campus, the strikers decided to visit a much higher level of the administration. And inside the chancellor's office, a more solid message calling for change, starting at the top. Yet, even with all the visitors in his waiting room, the chancellor refused an appearance. Is this what you expected? No. I was expecting a bit more. We pay for the shift. This is our building. I'm your boss. Single purpose? Hey, no bosses, no But hey, we got to get people to listen somehow. After the chancellor's office, the protests decide to take their movement off campus, even if only for a moment. One consistent factor that played a role throughout was confusion. They clearly have no single purpose. A lot of those people clearly are just there for the mob mentality. They aren't there to actually make a statement which is unfortunate. However, even through all the unclarity, two main points remain very clear. Whether it be the budget crisis, something has to change, or color divisions. We know that there is a problem at SIUC. We have a racism problem, and all these people here are willing to admit it. And we're willing to support one another to see change because it's time for a change. In Carbondale, Sydney Kessler reporting.